Welcome back to Fitting Room On Demand. My name is Riley, and today I'm gonna to be leading you through a body weight signature fit workout. It's gonna be really fun, fast moving, and we're doing a lot of core in this class. So we'll start with a warm up. After that, we're doing a Tabata and a half. We'll talk about what that half is when we get there. After that, we're jumping into a four station circuit and we'll hit that two times through. Last but not least, we have our fix, our functional high intensity mix. Today's format is gonna be a four minute descending ladder. If you have no idea what I just went through, don't worry, I'm gonna take you every step of the way along with me. So let's go ahead, find some space to move and have some fun. Warm up's gonna begin two times through, 30 seconds each movement. And we're gonna start with an inchworm to a push up. For that inchworm, you'll walk it out to a plank, hit one push up at the bottom, walk it back, and then you'll do it again. Here we go, everyone. We'll get started in three, in two, and one. 30 seconds, inchworm to push up. So nice long arms as you go. Breathe in and out as you push up, and then stand up tall. If that push up from your toes isn't working for you, go to your knees. I'd much rather see full range of motion from your knees than barely dropping down into your push up from your toes. If that's too much, just slow it on down. And remember, for the inchworm, we want to keep our legs super long. Don't bend them to the floor. Five seconds. We'll stay down there for hip openers. Get ready. Three, two, one. Send one foot wide outside of the hand. Stretch it up to the sky. Nice big twist. Take your elbow down to your foot. We can stay on this side for another five seconds, and then we'll switch to the other side. All right, let's go ahead. Hit that other side. Doing this to give our lower back some love our hips some love, 10 more seconds. If you'd like to, you can go one more time each side. Then in five, we're gonna go up to our feet for air squats. Get ready in three, in two, and one. Squat down and up. Big inhale down, exhale tall. I like to imagine I have a big elastic band above my knees, booty band. I'm fighting that band as I go down and up. First round doesn't have to be fast. We're just kind of waking up those muscles. Some of our first movement for the day for some of you. Good. Now, as we do this, keep pulling those abs in tight, 10 more seconds, and then we're on to our second round. Good, five seconds, team. We're going back to that inchworm to push up in three, two, one. So notice, as I reach for those toes, I'm not dropping my butt to the ground. My legs are long. I treat it like a forward fold. All right, we have another 15 seconds. And again, totally fine to take it from your knees. I wanna see us get as low as we can every time. 10 seconds. We're gonna do a little remix on the second exercise. That hip opener is gonna turn into a mountain climber. Get ready in three, in two, and one. So if you're feeling good, you run those knees to your chest. Shoulders stay stacked over wrists. If that run is too much, but you still wanna get your core working a little harder, just a slow alternating knee drive. Good, everyone. We're about halfway, keep it up. Breathing in, breathing out. My shoulders are feeling it now already. 10 seconds, a little faster. Woo! We'll meet on our feet for air squats. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, squats. Last round. We're going to be doing more of these air squats and squat variations throughout our workout. Air squats, jump squats, you name it, we're doing it. So just get ready. Another 20 seconds here. Maybe picking up that pace a little bit. 15. Last 10. Couple more here, maybe three more, four more. We're finished with this warm up in five, three, two, one. Awesome work, everyone. Okay, grab a little water if you need. Towel off if you have a towel at home. We're gonna jump into our first workout. So for today, we're starting off with a Tabata and a half. What is a Tabata? A tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Typically, a Tabata is eight rounds, but today, we're adding on a half. That means we're going 20 on, 10 off for 12 intervals instead of eight. A little bit longer, but with the breakdown, I promise it's not that bad. We have four exercises. We're gonna do 20 seconds of each one for three rounds, making 12. First thing that we have will be 20 seconds of air squats. We did it in the warm up. This time, I wanna see you go even faster. Down, up, as many as you can do. Really think about moving those legs like they're on fire for 20 seconds. After that, we'll have 10 seconds to shake it out. We have a squat thrust next, a squat thrust. Hands down, jump to plank, kick those feet in, stand up tall. Hands, jump in, up, as many as you can do for 20 seconds. From there, we'll take it to the floor. 
Time to get that core working a little bit with a jackknife. Opposite hand to foot, opposite hand to foot, reaching towards those ankles, back leaves the floor. Last thing, we'll flip it around to a forearm plank and we have a plank hold. Just squeezing everything, our first moment of real stillness in the Tabata. That'll be one round. We'll do it two more times through. So those 12 intervals will be done. Let's go ahead and meet on our feet. First thing that we have will be our air squats for 20 seconds. All right, 20 seconds. Round one of these air squats in three, two, go for it. 20 seconds of squats, down, up, down, up. No longer at our warm up pace. Legs are on fire. We're like a broken elevator dropping to the bottom floor, pushing to the top floor. Nice, 10 seconds. Give me a couple more here. Count how many you can get maybe. Last three, two, one. Shake out those legs. Onto our squat thrust. Remember, it's a jump to plank and a stand up. Let's see if we can get six or more. In three, in two, and one. Okay, here's one. Good, really owning that plank position. All right, everyone, 10 seconds. Woo, that was six for me. One or two more. In three, two, one. Shake it on out. Good job, everyone. Take it to the ground. We have our jackknives. 20 seconds of jackknives coming up. Five, three, two, go. Exhale up. Long legs. Reaching for the back of your feet. Notice every single time my chest leads the way and I kick up to meet that foot. Last five. Three, two, one. Awesome, we're gonna flip it around to a plank hold. Last movement in our first round. After this, four intervals done. Flip it around. Three, two, one. Plank hold, this is our chance to catch our breath, firing up every muscle in your body. Flex your thighs, squeeze your butt, ribs down. Supporting through that low belly. 10 more seconds right here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Finding that happy place, we're almost there everyone. Last three, two, one. Awesome. Come on up to our feet. We're back to our air squats, round two. On five, we'll drop it down. Four, three, two, one. Down up. Round two, we're probably feeling a little bit more in our legs this time. Your quads might be getting a little tired, glutes a little tired. You gotta push harder to keep that same pace. This is our second round of three. Third of the way there. Five seconds. In three, two, one, nice. Shake it on out, deep breaths. Squat thrust, round two, coming up. Five, three, two, one. Out, up. Ten seconds. Try to get the same number of reps you got round one. Woo! Three, two, one. Nice. Onto our jackknives, take it to the floor. Shake out those legs. Deep breath in, let it out. Woo, jackknives in three, two, go. Now, if you're feeling this in your hip flexors, you can always pull one knee to chest instead. This is a great way to still get your core working and giving your hip flexors a break. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go to our plank for a second round. We do it all one more time and we're done with this prefix. Flipping it around here in three, two, one, go for it. Squeezing those glutes tight, yes, amazing. If you're feeling good, you're like, Riley, I could do this all day. How can I make this harder? Good question. You can add a little reach out if you're feeling strong. Five seconds, three, two, one, all right. We're back to the top, back to those air squats for our third and final round. We're going in five, four, in three, two, one. Last round, best round. Now I'm not gonna show you any levels up for these squats just yet. Trust me, we have a lot of jump squats coming at the end of class. So if you wanna push harder, go faster. That's all. Nice. Woo. We have three, two, one. Nice. Onto our squat thrust. Here we go. In five, four, 
Three, two, one. Down, out, in, up. Woo! Final push. Good. Keep it easy. Keep it light on those feet. Ten more seconds. Three or four more. Good. Woo! Five. In three, two, one. Nice, everyone. Home stretch. Jack knives, plank hold, done. Five, three, two, go. Opposite end of foot. Nice. Big exhale reach. Got it, everyone. Good. Every time you come up, we're not letting our back arch keep those ribs down. Five more seconds. Ooh. Three, two, one. Flip it around to our plank hold. This is how we finish things off, everyone. 20 seconds and we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, squeeze it. And again, if you want that level two, reach out. Good. Almost there, everyone. 10 more seconds. Good. No movement in those hips. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone. Grab a little water, shake it on out. If you have your towel, dab yourself down, get dry. We have next section coming up, and that is our circuit. For our circuit today, one minute with each station. 15 seconds to shake it out and breathe. So just a little recovery. We'll do this whole thing two times through, only two times. And then you're done with this, and we're on to the end of that last push. So today, a couple of different AMRAPs are going to be put into this circuit. Now, what is an AMRAP? It stands for as many rounds as possible. I'm giving you two moves, and you're going between those moves as many times as you can. So not all of our stations are going to be like that, but our first one is. For this one, 10 plank hip dips into one plank up. For that hip dip, we're going to start from our elbows in that same plank position we were just in. Up and over, one, two, really drawing a rainbow with those hips and really tucking your pelvis under as you go from side to side. 10 total, after your 10th rep, bring it back to center. One plank up, up to our hands, back down to our elbows, and we'll do it again. 10 hip dips, one plank up, follow along with me when we're done with that. Just take a look up and I'll show you what's coming up next, okay? 10 plank hip dips, one plank up. We are going in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Take your time on those hip dips. I like to imagine I have a marker attached to my hips, a magic marker, and I'm drawing a rainbow. There's five. After 10, you bring your hip center, one plank up, up to your hands, back to your elbows, go again. 20 down. So maybe we get three rounds of this. Good. Oh, second round, I'm feeling it already. Nice. Center. If you ever need to for that plank up, take it from your knees. Totally fine to do that. We have 20 more seconds, maybe one more round. Ooh. After this, we get to give our arms a little break. Last 10. Final five seconds. Almost there, everyone. Five, three, two, one. Amazing. Come on up to your feet. Next up, we have a lateral lunge to a twist. I'll take a big step to the right side, push off that foot, and then I can twist towards my lead leg. We'll go 30 seconds one direction. I'll stay halfway. We'll go to the other side. Here we go. In three, two, go for it. Inhale, step. Exhale, twist. Really getting all of your weight centered on that working leg, on that stabil stability leg. And then as we lunge, we're pushing off that working leg with power. 15 more seconds this side. If that balance is too much, bring your feet to a little kickstand and twist that way. You're still practicing a little bit of single leg balance. Five more seconds and we go to the other side, everyone. Get ready to switch to the left. In three, two, go. Big step, push. If you can balance, if you don't feel comfortable with that balance, little kickstand. 20 seconds. Ooh. Another 15. This one, I don't care how fast we go. I care how low we go. I care about the consistency, that balance, exaggerating the twist. 10 seconds. Maybe a couple more here. In three, two, one. 
Awesome, everyone. Okay, shake it on out. This one's going to be a tough one. One minute of tuck-ups. Tuck-ups on repeat. It's going to add up, right? Take your time. Little shakeouts when you need. Let's see if we can get at least 10 to 15 or more. We're going in three, in two, one. Here we go. One minute. Now, if you can, you can keep your feet off the floor like me the entire time. If that's ever too much and you're really feeling your hip flexors, you can always let those heels rest to the floor. But remember, it's not always a bad thing that we feel our hip flexors work. If you're feeling those get tight, you're actually strengthening those hip flexors, which in the long term will really help you as you squat, as you hit these core exercises. Good, halfway. Good, 20 seconds, 15. Maybe you're hitting 20 or so by the end. Whatever number you hit, we'll try to match it round two. 10 more seconds, we have one more station after this. Let's try to get a couple more. Five, in three, in two, one. Amazing, one more AMRAP. We're staying on the floor for this one. 10 mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, until I hit 10, jump your feet in, one big vertical jump, to the ceiling, jump back to plank, repeat. Here we go, everyone, in three, two, one, go. 10 climbers. From there, jump it in, big jump to the ceiling, bring it on down, jump it back and repeat. Now, if you're not jumping, I'm gonna show you a modification. You can walk your feet in, you can reach up to the ceiling, bring it on down, step back and repeat. Another option, lift your tiptoes, lift your heels up. Still challenging that overhead lift, still getting your heart rate up, but not as much impact. Woo! My legs are starting to feel like jello. 20 seconds, let's get maybe one or two more rounds. Woo! 10 seconds. Almost there, everyone. Hold on to it. Let's try to maybe get one more here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo! One round down. Here's the good news. Only one more time through. We're gonna do all these stations once more. You never have to see them again. Bad news, maybe it's good news. We still have a little bit more after that. Here we go. In three, two, hip dips, let's go. 10 plank hip dips, one plank up. After 10, center, trying to keep those hips totally stable on the plank up. Nice, everyone. Really tempting on those hip dips as we get tired, you'll go into the plank ups and pike your hips up. A lot of times when I'm teaching, I see our hips here. This is a lot easier, but it's not getting us stronger. Bite, to hinge those shoulders over elbows. If it's too much from your high plank, drop down to your knees, keep your hips in line with your shoulders. We have 20 more seconds of this 10 1. 10 1, 10 1. Good. Last 10. Three, two, one. Woo, rest, breathe on our feet, giving our shoulders a break, making our legs work. Lateral lunge twist. Let's go to the other direction first, this side. So the, the round, the side that you finished on, we'll start on. Three, two, go. Step, twist, woo. How long can you balance up there? I even like to let my elbow and my knee connect. All right, everyone, it's another 15 seconds here and we switch sides. How can we upgrade this time? Can you balance longer? Can you get lower? 10 more seconds this side, five. Three, two, halfway, take it to the other side here. Big inhale, push, twist. Sitting low. 20 seconds, really fighting. One thing that, to think about as you do this is keeping your weight on your leg that you step, that you push off onto and growing up taller. Try not to bend that standing leg on the balance. 10 seconds here, five. Three, two, 
one. Very nice, everyone. Take it to the floor. We're back to those tuck ups. 10 seconds here. Deep breath in. Lay on your back. Five, three, two, one. Go for it. All the way up. Kick it out. Woo. Yes. If you're ready to take it up a notch, that tuck up can turn into a V up. If you're going for that, straight legs the whole time. Woo. Takes a lot more balance, a lot more mobility. Give it a try. See how it goes. Halfway, 30 more seconds and change. Almost there. The good thing with this one is it forces us to slow down a bit, but a minute of any core move is a lot. So if you're struggling a little bit at this moment, that is totally normal. That's where our strength comes in those moments of struggle. Last 20, 15. 10 seconds, so close. Five, yes. Lean in, three, two, one. Woo, all right. You don't have to get up, you just have to flip around. Mountain climber to vertical jump. My goal for you, four rounds plus. Four rounds plus in this last push, and then we get a long break. Here we go. Three, two, go for it. 10, one. Jump those feet in, explode, and then back. Try to just go right back into round two. Round three, keep it moving, everyone. Woo! Here's four, halfway. Halfway, everyone, 30 more seconds. I'm going into five. Yes, 20 seconds. Here's my six. Ten seconds, everyone. Lean in. Give it everything you've got. Our circuit is done after this. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Woo! In five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I am feeling that one. I don't know about all of you. That was awesome. Two rounds, and we're done with it right now. Grab a little water, dab it off if you need to, grab that towel. We have one more workout coming up. We're going into our fix. So while we do this, we just did a lot of lower body, a lot of upper body. I know we're already feeling those arms and legs. While we talk, you can hold on to something if you need or just reach out to the side. Give yourself a little quad stretch. Release that hip flexor, right? And if you do this, squeeze your butt, sit up a little taller. But let's do the same thing other side. I just want us to really be feeling good in those hips before we start this. Okay, one more thing that we're getting through. Let's talk about our fix, our functional high intensity mix. Again, a reminder of that format. It is your all out push at the end before we get to cool down. Think of it as your exit ticket out of this workout today. We have a four minute one coming up here and the format is a descending ladder. So how it works today, we have two movements, jump squats, and hand release push-ups. You're gonna start with your highest number of reps for each one. 10 jump squats, 10 hand release push-ups. After that, our reward, we get to do a little less. Eight jump squats, eight hand release push-ups. Then six, six, four, four, two, two. If you finish, there is a cash out waiting for you at the end. We'll talk about that in just a second. So first thing, that jump squat, we've done a lot of squatting today, it looked great. I told you, save the jumping for this point. Big inhale, get low, exhale, jump tall. We land soft every single time, show me full range of motion. Of course, if you're not jumping today, stick with that air squat we did before, or if you wanna make it even tougher, you can add a little heel raise. Once you hit those jump squats, you'll take it to the floor, and we have hand release push-ups. Nice, strong plank position. Drop your body like an elevator to the floor. Hand, inhale, hands come off. I wanna see those hands as you exhale. Body rises like an elevator. Of course, if you need to, take this from your knees. And just show me that same exact position, hips and shoulders in one strong line. After that, we have eight, six, four, two. If you finish that round of two and two, you lay on your back and you give me sit-ups for the remainder. Reach overhead, bam, reach towards those ankles. As many as you can do. 
If sit-ups aren't for you today, any core move to finish things off. Are we ready? I think we are. We had a chance to catch our breath, right? Four minutes of fun. Let's lean in. Let's get this done and go on to your day feeling like the strong, powerful person you are. Let's do it. Starting off 10 jump squats, everyone. Room to move. Game face is on. Going for 10 in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, team. 10 jump squats. One, two. I'll count my first round. Three, four, five, six. It's like a round of elevator or a trampoline is the word I'm looking for. Nine. Woo, after that, immediately to that plank position, hand release push ups. Down, up. I'm showing for my knees right now. Remember, if you feel good and you want to go from your toes, be my guest. Good. This is the, t the one that's a little tougher, right? Three more for me. Woo! Okay. Pen is done. Shake out those arms. We're on to eight jump squats. Here we go. Drop it down. One, two. Even though the legs are tired, make a promise to me right now. The low, your squats are going to be just as low as they were in the warm up. There are six, seven, eight. Okay, everyone, guess what? One minute down. Three to go. You are doing amazing. Eight push-ups. This is the one where my arms start to feel like jelly. Notice from my knees, I keep my toes anchored on the floor. That helps me really feel my glutes engage on this push-up. That's what I prefer. Do what feels right for you. Two more for me. Ooh. Okay, round of eight done. I'm on to six. I'm setting up to have quite a bit of time for those sit-ups. Here we go, get down and stand up tall. Six jump squats. Nice, there is six. Okay, I'm onto those push-ups. See if I can do a couple for my toes this time. Six push-ups. As you see, if you're keeping along with me, we're halfway, we have plenty of time to get to the end. Plenty of time, woo, for those sit-ups. Notice on my push-up, my elbows stay really tight to my body. All right, six is done, 90 second push. If you're staying with me, we're on four, four jump squats. Here we go, one, two, three, Four, four hand release push ups. Woo! One, two, oh, keep pushing, keep leaning in. Three, woo! Four is done. Minute, 15 seconds. If you're with me, we have two, two, and we're on to that cash out. Here we go, team. If you're already done, if you're pushing ahead of me, you better be doing those sit ups. One more minute. If you're sticking with me, let's see if we can do our last two from our toes. Ah, one more. Fight. Woo! If you're with me, we're on to our sit-ups for our final 50 seconds. Max out. Talk about that light at the, at the end of the tunnel. We're getting closer and closer now. All I see is that finish line in front of me. 30 seconds. Count out those reps. Stay confident. Wherever you're at, I don't care if you're doing sit-ups, I don't care if you're on your round of six, your round of eight, your round of two. All I care is that for 20 seconds, we don't stop, we give it everything we've got. I worked so hard, my hair came out. 15. Don't stop now, everyone. Biggest goal of the workout, 10 seconds of non-stop work. Woo! Five, three, two, one, give it up for yourselves. Fitting room on demand, woo! I'm giving you all a round of applause, a high five through the screen. That was great. All right, done and done. It was a fast moving workout, but we got there. Let's go ahead and do a little cool down. We'll meet in a child's pose. So swing your legs behind, crawl your fingertips forward, and just sit back into your hips right here. You'll stay down here, just focusing on your breath in and out. 
listening to my words, but letting your forehead stay connected to the floor. Let's take three big de deep breaths in and out in this position. Inhale, as you exhale, crawl your fingertips forward and sit your hips back more. Two. Last one when you're ready, press up to your tabletop on all fours. Let's do a little cat cow. Cow, drop your stomach, open your chest up. Cat, belly button, spine, round out your back. Flowing through these two points. Good, when you're ready, return to neutral. Tuck your toes under, heels to the floor, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Just pedaling out your feet right and left here. Think about wagging an invisible tail. Walk your hands toward your, towards your feet. Grab opposite elbow. Soft bend in your knees. Roll on up. Four, three, two, one. Interlace your fingers. Reach them up high to the sky. Let's grab for one elbow, a little tricep stretch. Same thing, other side. Opposite elbow, tricep stretch. Last thing, shake out your arms like we're wet. We're trying to get the water off. Three big shoulder rolls forward. Three, two, one. Three bigger shoulder rolls back. Three, two, one. Stretch your arms wide. Give yourselves a big, well-deserved hug and body weight. Bang room on demand. Clap it up. You all did amazing. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you back on the gym floor soon. Thank you.